Welcome everyone! In this video we will go through three different examples based on probability. Probability of an event is a real number in a range of 0 to 1 where a probability of 0 is assigned to an event that is impossible and a probability of 1 for a certain event. Let's get started with our examples. Problem statement number 1. A bag contains 11 balls as follows. 5 are red, 4 are yellow and 2 are black. If balls are drawn from this bag without replacement, what is the probability of drawing a yellow ball followed by a red one? So from the statement, we can see that we have 5 plus 4 plus 2, a total of 11 balls in the bag. Now, the probability of drawing a yellow ball first is equal to P of Y. So I will name this as event Y. This one will be our R event and this is B. So the probability of drawing a yellow ball first is equal to the number of yellow balls in the bag divided by the total number of balls in the bag. So 4 over 11. Next, we are drawing a red ball, but before that I want to mention that here we have a conditional probability or written as follows P of R given Y. This means that the probability that R occurs given that Y has already occurred. In our case, we are drawing a red ball knowing that the yellow ball has already drawing the yellow ball has already occurred so after the yellow ball has been drawn and not replaced there are 10 balls left in the bag five of them are red so 5 over 10 or this equals to 0 0.5 Therefore, the probability of drawing a yellow ball followed by a red one is the following. P of Y times P of R given that Y has occurred is equal to 4 over 11 times 5 over 10. And this equals to 2 over 11. Now let's go with our second example. A bag contains 6 red chips, 9 white chips and 5 blue chips. A chip is selected and then replaced. Then a second chip is selected. Find the probability of each event. A. Both chips are white and B. Neither chip is blue. From the problem statement we can see that we have a total of 6 plus 9 plus 5 total of 20 chips in the bag. Let's go with A first. Both chips are white. So we draw one chip from the bag and the probability that this chip is white is P of W is equal 9, the total number of white chips, divided by the total number of chips, 20. So now we put back this chip in the bag and again we have a total of 20 chips in the bag. We draw again a chip from the bag and what is the probability that the second chip that we will draw is white again? Again this will be a probability of 9 over 20. But what is the total probability that both chips are white? So the total probability is P of W times P of W2 and this equals to 9 over 20 times 9 over 20 and this equals to 81 over 400. Now let's do B. B says neither chip is blue. Now for this we will do it this way. If we draw a blue chip, the probability to draw a blue chip is 5 over 20, right? We have 5 blue chips and we have a total of 20. 
or this equals to 1 over 4. But the question asks us, what is the probability not to draw a blue chip? This means that this probability, or P of A, is 1 minus 1 over 4. This equals to 3 over 4. It is 1 because, as I said earlier, as I mentioned at the beginning, the probability range is from 0 to 1, where 1 is for a certain event. So we have the first chip drawn. The probability that it is not a blue one is 3 over 4, right? So we return this chip in the bag and we draw again a new chip. What is the probability that it won't be blue again? Again, this event B will be 3 over 4 because we again we have the total number of blue chips in the bag and the total number of all the chips in the bag. So now the total probability that neither chip is blue, P, is equal to P of A times P of B, or this equals to 3 over 4 times 3 over 4. This is equal to 9 over 16. So 9 over 16 is the probability that neither chip that is drawn will be blue. Now let's do our last example. There are 4 red, 5 blue, 3 yellow and 10 white pens in a bag. What is the probability of getting a pen that is red or blue? We see here in this example that we have 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 10, a total of 22 pens in the bag. Here is one tip. When you solve such type of examples always when you have a problem statement asking about probability of an event and there is this or this or that you sum up the probabilities so again remember when there is or you sum the probabilities when there is and in the problem statement you multiply the probabilities so here we have a total of 22 pence the probability of taking a red pen out of the bag is P of R is 4 over 22. Now the probability of taking a blue pen out of the bag it is 5 over 22. So in this case red and blue are mutually exclusive. So we take only one pen from the bag. What, if, what will be the color of this pen? Is it going to be red or blue? The probability of drawing either color is 4 over 22 plus 5 over 22. Or this equals to 9 over 22. So this is the probability of taking either a red or a blue pen from the back. So this is it for this video. Thank you for watching.